Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? That you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the Great Replacement Theory as it relates to I don't to have to answer these questions. The great, re <laughs> the great Replacement Theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that... I don't have to answer questions from a lemon. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Welcome back. Thanks for watching. You may have heard that Don Lemon was coming back and on X of all places. But unfortunately, Don Lemon's an idiot. Now he's crying on CNN, the place that fired him, about how he smeared the owner of the platform that he had a deal with. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Uh, otherwise, I would not do interview, this interview. So you don't think, you, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that constantly, was... I could care less. Jesus, you're gonna kill that guy. Of course, I'm a Terminator. Wow, you could tell Elon Musk was not amused. And he shouldn't be, because Don Lemon was trying to baselessly tie him to exceedingly rare, random acts of violence by strangers. And using the great replacement theory angle, no less. And pretending that both Democrats and the media haven't laid out this exact scenario as a pathway to permanent Democrat majorities. Illuminating in so many ways. All right, I have two, I have two things I wanna ask you about that, Don. First, the great replacement theory. As you bring it up, um, you know, he has tweeted uh, a tweet he shared increasing illegals boost Dem voting power, causing them to recruit more. If Dems win president, House and Senate, they'll grant citizenship to all legals and America will become a permanent one party deep socialist state. Right. He has gone there directly. OK. And I don't know if that's the great replacement theory, but I do know it's something that both Democrats and so-called reporters have expressed openly for years. You see, I think that's what this is all about, tying the political positions of the Democrats' opponents to so-called hate and violence as a justification for both censorship and the criminalization of their opposition. How much does he stand by these ideas? Well, he didn't quite seem to understand that he did, uh, originally he did that with Jewish people, sort of a great replacement theory thing that he did with Jewish people with, and he got in trouble and he had to go to Auschwitz and, and answer questions and, and apologize and go with Ben Shapiro. <laughs> it probably won't surprise you to learn that Don Lemon is full of shit. What Elon Musk did was respond to a post saying that some Jewish communities are pushing the exact same kind of racist hate against whites that they claim to be against, while also supporting the invasion of the country by groups that aren't very fond of Jewish people and saying that it was the truth. That's exactly what these two CNN goons are referring to as anti-Semitic. Now, let me just quickly address that post. Is it now anti-Semitic to call out anti-white racism? Which the ADL clearly are. They've made a business out of fear-mongering about shadowy white boogeymen, not to mention redefining racism so they can be as racist to white people as they want. But we don't hold left-wingers to those standards, just their opponents. Let me just be clear that I don't think all Jewish people are involved in a conspiracy theory against whites, but there are a lot of influential Jewish people that push the sort of anti-white hate that mirrors what I always consider to be anti-Semitic tropes. DEI itself is like the legalization of anti-Semitic tropes that were repurposed for white people. For example, let's pretend John Stewart is David Duke and the screen behind him says the problem with Jewish people. Oh, that was different. Like it's just baffling to my mind that a Jewish man who would say something like never forget would sit in front of a sign that says the problem with white people. Like if there's a problem with a certain group of people that implies there's a solution to that group of people. <laughs> right, yeah, of course. Noticing these things and having an opinion about them is not anti-Semitic. But um, he doesn't understand that that sort of rhetoric that he talks about, the Great Replacement Theory and, um, and a migrant invasion, that's what radicalized shooters use in their manifestos. Those exact words. Hey, we have another. Um, just to be clear, Elon Musk has never promoted the Great Replacement Theory. Rather, he's opined on the desire of Democrats to flood this country with illegal migrants, which we've watched happening for the last three years. The people who go and shoot up people, whether they be Latino people who live in Texas or black people who are in a supermarket uh, in Buffalo or Jewish people who are, who are worshiping, those people use the same rhetoric, that they are tropes, that they're either racist for Latinos or black people or for Jewish people. And I wanted to know if he, had, if he felt any responsibility. First of all, this is all just such utter crap. 
If you were doing exactly what Don Lemon's doing right now, but to black people, he would call you a racist. Just because four monsters murdered people for the color of their skin over the course of years out of 350 million people does not mean that folks that share political views with those people are now the same as those people or responsible for their violence. If so, that would make pro-Obamacare mouthpieces like Don Lemon responsible for the 2007 Democrat domestic terrorist attack on Republicans. By a guy screaming this is for health care as he shot does Don Lemon feel any responsibility for egging on riots between 2015 and 2020 based on lies like Michael Brown had his hands up or Jacob Blake wasn't armed or George Floyd was a gentle giant who was a victim of racism Don Lemon said that white people are the greatest threat to this country is Don Lemon now taking responsibility for all the racial violence against white people oh that was different and actually that's why you never hear about these racial attacks against white people on the national media or they try to cover up the motivations because people then might start asking these questions. In fact, if having an opinion on the Democrats' open plan to use illegal immigration in order to get permanent control, that would make you, Don Lemon, responsible for any random stranger who might commit an act of violence based on the so-called great replacement theory. We live in a country where the demographics are changing. It's becoming less white. Democrats should be asking themselves, as a matter of fact, why aren't they dominating the political landscape? Two decades ago, the influential book, The Emerging Democratic Majority, predicted they would due to demographic changes in the country. Oh, that was different. And it doesn't seem that he feels that he has any responsibility with that because he seemed really averse to facts. Look who's talking. That facts did not matter to him. It didn't matter that he retweeted things that were offensive to people. And this whole, the, the whole idea of, of what I was asking you about, it, was it offensive and did he feel that his platform should have better moderation. Nobody cares what you think. We've gone through this so many times in my video, so I'm reluctant to play these clips again, but let me just take you through a few of these examples of this being openly discussed in the media up until a few years ago, when they became much more tight-lipped and started all this great replacement theory talk. White people will be replaced as the majority of the people in the country. That's not racist to say that, just it's just a fact. Because of demographic changes in this country, I think that the Democratic Party is going to win taxes moving forward and the Democratic Party is going to be in power for the next 30, 40 years. The demographic change that's happening in America right now gives the upper hand to Democrats. This census that just came out especially drives home the point that Texas is next. It's a state where the demographics are changing in ways that are favorable to the Democratic Party. In a few years, we're going to be a majority brown country. White people will not be the majority in the country anymore. Demographics is destiny. Demographics is destiny. Demographics is destiny, right? The country is changing. You'll be announcing that we're calling the 38 electoral votes of Texas for the Democratic nominee for president. It's changing. It's going to become a purple state and then a blue state because of the demographics. The growth in Texas has been almost entirely driven by non-white population growth, mostly by Hispanic and Latino population growth. Yeah, that's that's weird, man. That's weird. So yes, Democrats are trying to achieve a one-party state and permanent control through various methods, one of them being illegal immigration. And don't think that they're not looking for ways to get these people voting. I don't know, I'm starting to think that Don Lemon is a CIA asset trying to justify the censorship of the biggest thorn in the side of the left's authoritarian efforts and manufacture the justification for mass suppression and censorship of things people like Don Lemon think are offensive, which will always be things that you say, never anything that he he says all right folks that's all i have for that one i hope you enjoyed it if you're still here might as well hit that like button which really supports the channel and make sure to leave a comment thanks a lot i'll see you on the next one